Hi, welcome to the Hicks Homestead YouTube channel, and my name is Wade. It's early in the morning here in southeast Georgia. I uh, got my original Pacron E3600, and over here is a brand new one I ordered. Uh, if you remember my original configuration, it was just this one power station and the four expansion batteries that was running uh, my camper consistently off grid for over six months with uh, solar input. So uh, that was my air conditioner trying to start. It will not start my three and a half ton air conditioner even with a soft start on it. <clears throat> So that's what I was going to get into. I thought I'd got it shut down, but apparently it, it wants to start. So anyway, uh, the specs on the air conditioner without the soft start, it pulls like 112 amps. With the soft start, it pulls 27. And that's, of course, 220. So right now you can see I've got about 392, almost 400 watts there. And on this one, I've almost got 600 watts. And the reason for that is, if you look up here at my breaker box, um, different things are being fed from different sides of the breaker box. So if you don't know anything about electricity or anything with, with your house, um, your power comes in from the power lines, comes in through a transformer, and on the, the transformer, whether it's a pole-mounted transformer or a transformer that is pad-mounted, um, either ends of the transformer are tapped on the secondary side, and then the neutral is tapped in the center. So from the top to the center and the bottom to the center gives you 220 volt AC into your house. If you go all the way through the entire coil from top to bottom, you get 240 volts AC. And the grid doesn't have any problem running asymmetric loads like this, even if they're much larger loads. Uh, it's not going to have that much of an effect on the power in your house. But with these portable power stations, I've been testing this for a couple of days, and I've discovered that um, with asymmetric loading, there's no way to balance the two power stations. So in other words, uh, the power station over here on the right says it's going to deplete its battery in about 15 hours, whereas the one on the left at the current load is going to deplete its batteries in about 23 hours. And what happens then is your little double voltage hub down here uh, doesn't get happy if one of these units shuts down. So having a balanced load is really paramount to running two of these units in parallel. Um, I don't think it, it would not have been an issue had I gone with another brand. And you can see that thing's beeping. I, at no point have I seen anything over 2000 watts on each panel or each uh, power station um, try to uh, be drawn. And I know from my soft start app what my air conditioner actually pulls to try to start. So that's a little disappointing. Maybe another brand that has uh, one unit that's 240 volts. Um, maybe an EcoFlow. Um, maybe it would be a little bit better suited to to start this. Uh, each one of these power stations independently, the surge is rated around 7,000. I've never seen it get anywhere close to that. If it's gone, if it's ever hit 4,000, these things, the original station would trip offline. Um, I don't know what they're advertising that that why that surge number is is that high. It may, may be on paper, but uh, real world review, it's, it's not. So anyway, I just wanted to post a quick update. Um, 
showing both of these units working, running 240 volts. It, it'll run my water heater just fine, um, but it, it just does not have the the power and capacity to start and run a three and a half ton AC. And it was, to be honest, I knew it was right on the edge of being possible anyway with the specifications of the units. And I knew just like in my RV, um, I couldn't run an air conditioner and a water heater and a microwave at the same time because uh, RV is, for mine, is limited to 30 amps no matter what. So there's stuff in there that pulls over 30 amps if you try to run everything at the same time. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I just want to post a quick update. Um, so far, other than that, they, they run what I need to run in my house minus the air conditioning. Uh, my portable generator over here will start the, and run the air conditioner. So there, there's always that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if uh, you're looking for more content. Uh, I'll be posting a more in-depth uh, review of, of this setup here in, in the coming days. I just want to hop on this morning and just give you my uh, honest and initial thoughts on uh, the 240 voltage setup for uh, dual E3600 LFPs. Thanks for watching.